Hi everyone, welcome back to Zerhadia University and today we're going to be doing our fabulous body treatment. Alrighty, so the first step in this treatment, we're going to be dry brushing today. So this is going to really promote a lot of circulation within the body and also it's going to help really remove any dead skin that's on the body as well. Now we're going to go ahead and start our dry brushing. So with dry brushing, you want to make sure that you're going to go up towards the heart. You're going to go straight motions. And it's okay if you start to see the client's skin turn red. It's just showing you that it's promoting more circulation within the body. So you're gonna go up towards the heart and also you're gonna do circular motions up the body. Just really promoting that circulation, also lymphatic drainage. And then you can turn the arm towards the body and do the same motion, making sure that you are including the elbows because sometimes the elbows can hold more keratin build up there. Gonna go up the body and then also circular motions. You're also gonna turn the arm, so the palm is facing up and you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna brush going towards the heart and then you're also gonna do circular motions as well, clockwise and counterclockwise. Really removing that dead skin, increasing the lymphatic drainage as well as circulation. Now we're gonna move on to the next section of the body and the next section is gonna be the abdominal area. So you're gonna do the exact same thing. You can brush up towards the heart And also, you want to make sure that you're doing circular motions as well. And this is also really beneficial for the, for the digestive system as well. You want your clients to be very well exfoliated and also you want to make sure that their blood flow is circulating as well. Also, you want to make sure that you get the sides as well too. Our next step, we're gonna be moving on to the legs. So now we're going to use the diaper drape method to make sure that we keep the client modest. So you're going to just gather the sheets in your hands like this. You're gonna place it on the side so that it expose your client's leg. Then you take one thin piece of the sheet here. You're gonna place it underneath behind their knee. You're gonna grab it and pull it straight through. This is considered the diaper drape. So I'm gonna be using two body brushes during the dry brushing step. So this, with the same thing with the arms and the stomach, we're gonna go up towards the body, towards the heart. Again, we're also promoting that blood circulation, lymphatic drainage as well, and also removing the dead skin can really work the kneecap area too. So you want to also get the inside of the leg, the shin, and also the outer part of the leg. And then you can also do circular motions as well. Making sure you're including the inner thigh. And sometimes I like to spend a little bit of extra time on the knee area too. Since we are done with our dry brushing on our leg, I'm just gonna show you guys how to remove the diaper drape. So you're just gonna place your hand underneath behind of your client's knee, and then you're gonna pull the thinnest part of the sheet out, place, um, pull it through their knee, and then pull their leg down. So once we've completed this side, I like to definitely go to the opposite side to do the exact same thing.
Doing dry brushing is also very good right before you shave or right before you wax. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn my client over. So in the process of turning your client over, you wanna make sure that they stay completely modest during this transition. The method that I like using, the tinting method, so what I like to do is just pull the sheet up a little bit higher than how they are lying on the table, and it allows them to have enough movement without exposing their body. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and have you turn over. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started with the back dry brushing. So we're just gonna pull the sheet a little bit further down. At the very top of their undergarments, you're going to take the sheet and tuck it right underneath. You wanna make sure that you do not have any contact with their undergarments, just the sheet. Now that we have our client tucked, we're gonna go ahead and start the dry brushing on the back. It's the same motion as we did in the front. We're just gonna go straight up towards the heart. So vertical motions. The pressure should not be too, too deep, just light to medium pressure. And also really focusing on any dry areas that your client may have as well. Really working the sides. Also turn the brush upside down and pull the skin a little bit further and brush upwards as well. And then from here, you want to start to get the back and the sides of the arms as well. Now this area sometimes typically will have a lot of keratosis pilaris, so the dry brushing will also help out with that. The next step, we're going in circular motions. Also want to focus on the shoulders as well. And with some clients, you will see a little bit of dryness down their spine, and it's okay to work in that area as well. Just don't apply a lot of pressure. When I am done with one area of dry brushing, I like to just always just brush towards the heart before I go on to the next step. And that completes the dry brushing on the back. Now we're gonna move on to the back of the legs. We're gonna do the same diaper drape just to maintain the client's modesty. Now we are all draped, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the dry brushing. I like to hold my client's ankles underneath just to give them a little bit more support and make it more comfortable for them. And I brush towards the heart again. Also focus on any areas where you feel it's a little bit more dry or they may have keratosis pilaris there. Then once you get to the hip or the dairy air area, you're gonna do the exact same motions. You're gonna brush up into the hip area, and also you're gonna do circular motions as well. This also helps reduce cellulite too. And I love to get the back of the heel, because sometimes that gets dry as well, around the ankles. And we're going to also do circular motions going towards the heart too. To the outside and also the inside. So I'm going to just bend the client's foot just a little bit, but you're still holding their ankle in your palm. and also do circular motions on the heels. When doing the dry brushing as well on the feet, you're also 
connecting a little bit with reflexology. So reflexology just basically helps with any of the internal organs within the body as well. So we're getting two for the price of one. Now we're gonna go ahead and complete the other steps on the opposite side.